Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel for another week of footy tipping and in today's video we're going to go through my AFL round 16 tips and predictions while also a quick review of how we did in last week's tips. Now before we get into it, if you are new to the channel, please subscribe. Also big thanks to you guys, we just hit 2k last weekend, so absolutely huge. Drop a like on this video and feel free to comment down below your tips for the round. Without further ado, let's get into things. Alrighty, so before we get into things with this week's tips, time to do a quick review of how we did in last week's tipping. Now, that was round 15. And in round 15, obviously the last of the shortened slash buy rounds. And I got four out of six correct, which isn't too bad. We've got the Lions, the Swans, the Pies, and Suns games all correct. Now, we are back to the full nine-game fixture for this round. So, let's get into my round 16 tips. Alright everybody, so let's kick things off for round 16 on the Thursday night and we have the Brisbane Lions taking on the Tigers 7.20pm at the Gabba now. It does seem like both teams are going into this game with excellent form at the moment. Obviously a little bit of history between these two clubs, have plenty of big games, have had plenty of big finals and obviously a big game for both teams standing wise now. In this one to kick off the first game of the round at home, I reckon the Lions would just be too good and get up by 19 points to kick off the round. Alrighty, so now we move on to our Friday night game, and that is between Sydney and Geelong at 7.50pm at the SCG now. Obviously, both these two teams here are just sitting out to the top eight at the moment and desperately need this win to boost to their top eight chances now. Obviously, the Cats have had the upper hand over the Swans in the past couple of games, obviously notably the grand final from last year now. Both these teams do have some pretty good players potentially coming back into the lineup this week now. I was a little bit undecided who I wanted to go with in this game, but with their 170 plus point win momentum from last week. I'm actually going to back the Swans in in what I think is a little bit of an upset and I reckon the Swans win by five points. Alrighty, so now we move on to all of our Saturday games and to kick it off, we have Adelaide taking on North, 1.45pm at the Adelaide Oval now. Obviously, this one here must win for the Crows for their top eight spot now. Obviously, North, they haven't won since round two. Uh, obviously, the Crows also at home are an absolute powerhouse, so I don't have too much to say about this game. The Crows should get the job done pretty easy and I reckon they win at home by 28 points. Alrighty, so now we move on to our next game, which is also a Saturday 1.45 game. This time it's at Marvel Stadium, and it's between my Western Bulldogs and a Fremantle now. I will be at this game, so I'm super excited. I'm going with UCAT and Cardi, so obviously I'll be even more excited for this game. Now, both of these teams seem to be coming out of a form slump at the moment and potentially hitting some form as both teams try to secure a top eight spot now. Obviously, Ferro have had the upper hand over the Dogs in the past couple of matchups, but at home, I'm going to have a little bit of faith in the boys. I reckon we can get it done, even though some Sometimes I feel like I'm a curse when I'm out of the game. Uh, but I reckon the dogs get up by nine points and hopefully I can rub it in UCAT's face. Alrighty, so now I move on to our Saturday Arvo game, and that is between the Suns and Collingwood, 4.35pm at Heritage Bank Stadium. Now, the Suns are another team who does seem to play well at their home ground, especially as of recent now. I do think this should be another close game. Seeing as Collingwood are playing, you just never know what's going to happen. Obviously, heaps on the line for the Pies. They want to lock in the top spot, and then obviously for the Suns as well, heaps on the line. They're a dark horse, a final side. So both teams have plenty to play for, and it seems like that's the case for the majority of the game. So I think, once again, it should be another very interesting game. And I reckon it's going to be back and forth down to the wire. And once again, Collingwood pull off another miracle. And I reckon the Pies win by, once again, two points. Alrighty, so now we move on to our Saturday night game, and that is between Essendon and Port Adelaide, 7.25pm at the MCG now. Honestly, I can't even remember the last time Port Adelaide lost a game. It just seems like it's a weekly occurrence Port Adelaide win at this point. Obviously, they set a club record for most consecutive wins ever. They're playing some absolutely phenomenal footy. The Bombers, on the other hand, it seems like they've been a little bit exposed in the past couple of games, especially against Freo. Now, at the G, it should be a pretty good game. I do expect the Bombers to still put up a good fight, but I reckon Port, once again, just way too good, and they will by 22 points to continue on their winning streak. Alrighty, so now we move on to our three Sunday games. And to kick it off for Sunday, we have Hawthorne taking on Carlton, 1.10pm. Once again at the MCG. Now, currently as we speak, this is a bottom four matchup, which is just once again crazy to say. Obviously, every game for the Blues is a do or die. Strictly no messing around possible for the Blues. Now, once again, the Hawks have been a little bit inconsistent as of the past couple of weeks. Obviously, that's what you get from a rebuilding side. But I just feel like the Hawks just really want to mess around with Carlton. Obviously, they know how much the Blues have on the line. So I reckon they'll put up a good effort, but the Blues, I'll be strictly business in this one and win by 31 points. 
Alrighty, so now we move on to our next game, and that is between Melbourne and GWS, 3.20 p.m. at TIO Stadium now. Obviously, the Ds, they do seem to play pretty well up in Darwin when they occasionally do. Obviously, for the Ds, top four is on the line, and I just can't see these conditionings helping out GWS whatsoever. Obviously, the Ds, they always seem to lift when they play up in TIO. And I reckon this should still be a pretty good game, but I just don't see the Giants winning up in Darwin, and I think the Ds should get the job done by a pretty solid margin of 11 points. Alrighty, so now we move on to our next and final game, and that is between West Coast and St. Kilda, 4.40 p.m. at Optus Stadium. Now, honestly, I have no clue where this is going. I don't even know how to describe this game. Obviously, the Saints themselves aren't in the greatest form, but not on any level whatsoever of West Coast. It just seems like West Coast are falling apart. Honestly, it seemed like their players weren't even trying for the majority of the game. And it just seems like at this point, West Coast are a confidence-boosting game for most sides now. Surely they can't get embarrassed as badly as they did last week because it's at home. But I, even though the Saints are in some poor form, I still think they get up by 48 points to finish off the round. And it gets even more concerning for West Coast. All right, everybody. So there you have it. That is another week of footy tipping done. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in my next one. Subscribe, like, and feel free to comment down below your tips of the round. Without further ado, I'll see you all in the next one.